Other defenses that should be available include a defense of opinion. The truth of an opinion cannot be proven, whereas the truth of a factual allegation can, or that a statement was clearly intended as satirical. An example of the latter is provided by the case of Nikowitz versus Austria. This concerned an article in an Austrian newspaper which moved in satirical manner on the national angst surrounding their national ski champion, Hermann Mayer, who had broken his leg in a traffic accident. The sole exception, according to this article, was his friend and rival, Stefan Eberharter, whose reaction was reported to be, great, now I'll win something at last. Hopefully the rotten dog will slip on his crutches and break his other leg too. There followed a series of increasingly incredible developments. First, alone in the whole of Austria, Eberharter did not realize the report was satirical and a joke. Second, he went to a lawyer who did not tell him to go home and get a life. Third, the lawyer took the case to court, where Eberharter won a defamation action against the newspaper. And fourth, the Vienna Court of Appeals upheld this conviction. The judgment in the European Court was one of its shorter ones. Its conclusion can be summarized as, it's a joke. The article, as was already evident from its headings and the caption next to Mr. Meyer's photograph, was written in an ironic and satirical style and meant as a humorous commentary. Nevertheless, it sought to make a critical contribution to an issue of general interest namely, society's attitude towards a sports star. The court was not convinced by the reasoning of the domestic courts and the government that the average reader would be unable to grasp the text's satirical character and, in particular, the humorous element in the impugned passage about what Mr. Eberharter could have said but did not actually say. Further defenses that should be available include the defenses of absolute and qualified privilege. The defense of absolute privilege provides that if the defamatory statement was reported from parliament or judicial proceedings, it would normally be absolutely privileged. That is, neither the original author of the statement nor the media reporting it could be found to have defamed. This rule may also apply to other legislative bodies and other quasi-judicial institutions, such as human rights investigations. The case of A versus the UK is a strong example of this when the European Court found that a member of parliament could not be sued for clearly defamatory remarks which he made in parliament. The defense of qualified privilege provides that there is a degree of protection for media reporting other types of statements, even if they do not enjoy the privilege accorded to parliament or the courts. This might apply to, for example, public meetings, documents and other materials in the public domain. For example, in the case of Colombani versus France, the European Court of Human Rights held the journalists for Le Monde were allowed to rely on an official report about drug trafficking to publish allegations about the extent to which members of the entourage of the King of Morocco were involved.